Hello, this is Nat Singer from Talon in your pocket. Today we're here at uh, Talon's uh, very centrally located and very modern bus station. And uh, we're headed to St. Petersburg. We've decided to take Eco Lines and uh, we're going to see how the trip goes. Wish us luck. The uh, Eco Lines office is just across the street from the bus station. It's not really much of a hassle at all, it's just over there. Uh, we've decided to actually go online though and print out our own e tickets. Uh, it's actually a cheaper way to go. So uh, we suggest that you do it. If you've got a laptop or a computer handy, it's no problem. Uh, you can pay with a your credit card and uh, you're all set and uh, you get a discount. Here's our bus uh, going to St. Petersburg. Eco Lions bus, very modern bus. And uh, we're about to check in, give our tickets. Uh, We've got our passports. You will need, in all likelihood, a visa. It's right here. Uh, it can take up to two and a half weeks to get, so be sure you're prepared and do it ahead of time. Okay? Okay, we're all checked in and ready to go. We're riding on the bus and uh, we're headed towards St. Petersburg. We've only got probably a, another hour or so to go to get to the board. Um, the seats are quite comfortable. They recline actually quite fully. As long as there's nobody sitting behind you, you can actually take a nap if you'd like. Uh, as we mentioned before, the trip takes about six hours. Um, yeah, the bus is fairly basic, but it's, uh, like I said, quite comfortable. Um, free free Wi-Fi on board, so you can uh, use your laptop, iPad, iPhone, Android, whatever you want to do. Uh, underneath the seats, there are, we won't show exactly, we can't show it, but underneath the seats there are actually power outlets for all of your devices, just so you don't run out of, uh, out of juice. And um, now let's go get a free coffee. Here we've got a coffee cup. settings here. We want milk, we want sugar, and uh, strong coffee. For those of you who don't like coffee, uh, they actually offer free tea and hot water as well. Very cool cup of coffee here. Lids are here. Stir sticks. Quick stir. Pop the lid on. The overall ride is pretty smooth, but uh, they do offer a tray where you can pop your coffee in, and you're guaranteed not to spill it, as long as you don't do anything silly. So when you get on board, soon after you get on board, they give you one of these uh, little forms here. Um, and basically it's uh, kind of like a, a form for, for getting into the country with just some specific information. Uh, what you will need is your, your passport number, you'll need your visa number, and uh, where you're staying, so either a hotel or if uh, friends have invited you or something like that. Uh, there's a few other things of information there, but they're pretty basic. Uh, and I'm assuming that at the border the, they'll collect them from you. Uh, just a basic form that you need to fill out. But what you need definitely is your hotel, where you're staying, somewhere else where you're staying, uh, friends, and your passport uh, number and visa number. So we've just arrived at the uh, 
Estonian and Russian border uh, and we're about to cross. Uh, we don't know how much filming we're allowed to do here, but um, yeah, we're here at the border and uh, let's see how long it takes. Okay, so we're now we're in Russia. We've just passed the border checkpoint. All in all, it wasn't uh, such a long wait. It only took us about a half an hour with the smoking break. And uh, it all depends, though, on how many people are on the bus. In our case, the bus is uh, fairly empty today. And uh, all in all, it took about one minute per person uh, to go through the border checkpoint. Uh, we did have to get out of the bus, though, and go uh, through the actual checkpoint uh, ourselves. And uh, you have to present your passport, your visa, and your card of declaration. Uh, we did uh, get checked also after that point by uh, a border guard who came on the bus as well, uh, just to check that we had our stamps and our passport. Uh, but all in all, overly not a bad experience, and uh, it's great. Now we're on our way to St. Here we are, our final destination in St. Petersburg. We've arrived, only it's about six hours later, and uh, the light is almost the same as when we left in Tallinn, but that's normal for this time of year. So we're ready to go explore the city.